All right, welcome back to Chalice and Chains. My name is Sam, um, and today we're tr attempting a Valheim stream here um, to see if we can show off some of this game. Um, I did just try one, and it was uh, not great. So we'll see. Hopefully OBS isn't dropping frames here, and I'm hopeful that the stream will start looking good. Um, so... This is Valheim, a Viking-style survival game um, that has been really kind of taking the world by storm. It's pretty awesome. Um, it's been compared a lot to Minecraft uh, in terms of some of what it does. Oh, I can't delete those. Interesting. Okay. Um, but it's... It's insanely fun. I have been able to play this game, I think, for a little over 40 hours now since I got it. And it just came out in February of 2021. Um, so... This game, even though the graphics quality isn't amazing, and it is still in early access, so there are some bugs available, um, it is so much fun. So we're going to go through the the uh, intro scene here. Um, I'm going to talk through it a little bit uh, because you will obviously be able to read the text here. But essentially, you are a Viking warrior that died in Midgard. And Odin has found out that, in, that some of his enemies are plotting against him. And so he has asked for his warriors, to, uh, his Valkyries, to find a warrior... Um, that can help defeat his enemies in Purgatory, in the 10th world Purgatory, um, that can defeat his enemies and earn a chance to come to Valhalla. So, my hope is that you all will be able to see and hear this just fine. So anybody who's watching, if you can, just say hi um, and let me know you're here. Let me know if the stream is working, if everything's looking good. So I didn't load in with a new character here, um, and I forgot it doesn't do the intro scene when you have an existing character. But the goal here is to just kind of show off what's going on. So I have some existing gear already, um, but essentially what you need to do is you need to run around the world crafting and um, building stuff, and then you will eventually need to um, defeat some bosses, the five bosses that are required, and, okay, good, not dropping any frames, and then that helps you earn your place in Valheim, I guess. So, right now, uh, because the game is still early access, they have, I guess, five bosses, in five different locations. Um, we are in the starting location of the Meadows. Um, and so you beat the first boss, bring his token over here to this, uh, this starting circle, and then you can go from there. So I've started a new world here. And what this means essentially is that I'm gonna have to go around and find myself a shelter, and go explore. And basically, the whole point of this game is to explore the world that you're in, defeat the bosses, and um, and just have a good time. And this isn't like your normal survival games. Um, I honestly have so much fun playing this, where with a game like... Minecraft, I get a little tired of it. Um, games like Raft or Subnautica or um, other survival games like that, they just get a little old after a while. Um, I haven't been able to play Rust. I've heard Rust is really good, but so far I have not played that, and so I can't speak to that. All right, so these are graylings. These guys are kind of the creatures of the forest, um, and they come out and, especially when you start chopping down trees, they'll come out and kind of try to defend it. 
So graylings in the in the meadows here are um, kind of easy bosses, or not bosses, easy creatures, but they're in opposition, so they will come out and try to fight you. As you go into different biomes, you will find different monsters that can be really tough. So one of the first things you want to do is to craft a shield. So you can parry and you need armor so that you can not take as much damage. And then you got to find like food and ooh, boars are good too. I should have blocked there. Boars are really good too because they give you meat that you can cook and they give you leather scraps, which is what you use to build um, like armor and shields and stuff. So, but I have been playing this game a lot and I am loving it. Now, right now I'm playing on my desktop um, on Linux and uh, I am recording and streaming through OBS. Actually, I'm just streaming it. Um, but I've been mostly playing on Windows on my laptop. And it's pretty great. It doesn't require a high-end system to play, uh, but I would recommend that you play it on a decent system to get the best results. But what's amazing about this game is it's only like a gig to download. Oops. Um, which is just incredible. Now, it may be a little bigger when you know if you watch this later on, but as of February, it is only about a gig size, which is just incredible for what this game offers. And this game is huge. I mean in terms of the scope, right? Like, there's so much to explore and so much to do. And even just cutting down trees is tremendously fun. But what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to look for a place, kind of a nice flat area close to the river or the ocean where I can build, like, a, a starting base from which I can explore. Because eventually, you are going to be able to craft a ship and go out and explore the different biomes that they have. And, you know, obviously defeat the monsters and bosses and whatever. And you do have to defeat the bosses to progress. So right now, for example, the very first boss gives you access to a pickaxe. Uh, what he does essentially is he drops hardened antlers and those antlers are what you need to create a pickaxe which you can then start to mine the ground, mine rocks, stuff like that. Also, um, be careful, falling trees will kill you in this game if they fall on you. So basically when trees start come tumbling down, you gotta be careful, watch out. Because if you don't, you're going to be in trouble. Now, I'm going to have to repair my axe here soon. You can see up in the top left. Um, oh, I'm my weight limit. Yep, I'm at my weight limit. You're right here where my cursor is. Um, I've got too much weight. I can't carry any more. So it won't automatically pick up any more material. So I'm just going to go running around here, and I'm kind of exp I'm looking at the mini-map, um, and I'm seeing that there is some... Looks like a river down here. So I'm just going to go and explore a little bit and see if I can find like nice open ground by the river where I might be able to set up a base. Um, we may or may not be able to find anything. We'll see. Okay, now that's a deer. Now what I should have done was I should have used the sneak mechanic. Because deer will run away from you when they see you, where boar will not. Boar will attack you. So what I can do with the deer is once he comes back, they have the ability to sneak. And if you're if you're sneaking, sneak up behind a deer and you 
get them. Um, and you get meat, you get deer hide. So he's coming around there. He ran away. Yeah, so he spotted me um, or heard me or smelled me or something. Okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go over here. I'm not going to worry too much about the deer right now. Um, but deer are something that you'll want to hunt. And before you are able to craft a bow, you'll need to use, you'll need to be able to sneak up on them, attack them. Really, any weapon that you have. The other thing you'll notice is that there is um, stamina in this game. And stamina is hugely important because stamina... Ah, grayling here. Stamina is what... Uh, it's sort of the base mechanic. It's what allows you to fight. It's what allows you to run. Um, ah, perfect. Here we go. But the more that you run and jump and fight, and chop down trees, the better those skills get. Whoa, that was a weird little graphic glitch right there. Oh, I can't pick this up. Oh. All right. So there's a little abandoned house over here. This might not be a bad area to start base. In fact, all right, let's see. These are always fun, though, to explore, these abandoned houses, because sometimes you'll find that they'll have, like, chests or something in them. Um, this one does. Oops. Start using my stone axe. Um... You'll see that there are sometimes abandoned dwellings that you can check out. That sometimes will have goodies in them or that you can repair and use as like a little starter shelter. What do we got down here? See, these are perfect. There's these little lean-tos down here with what looks like the beginning of a campfire. Oh, and must be bees somewhere. So... That's no good. <laughs> but that right there is a structure that you could build. And then you put a bed under it. So the way this game works, you basically have a crafting table. Um, much like you would in, say, Minecraft. Whoops. And uh, you can craft things using your resources like wood and stone and whatever. Um, so I've already crafted some tools here. So I'm, I'm just going to... I'm going to use the tools I already have. So right clicking allows you to block. So if you have a shield, you can block. And if you time it right, you can actually parry. Um, whoops. Parry their blows and stagger them, which can be really useful because get them? No. Um, because then they're staggered and you can get an extra chance to fight them. So that's good. I'm just going to go get this boar because boars are really important in this game because that's what gives you meat and leather scraps and leather scraps are used for basically all right, so I'm going to pick this spot, I think, right here. This seems like a nice spot to start my base. Now, once I go and um, beat the first boss, I'll be able to get the uh, hardened deer antlers, which will allow me to... Got them. will allow me to um, get a pickaxe, which I can then mine, uh, mine out the ground. So, that'll be good. Okay. Let me know if you guys are having any trouble um, seeing or hearing, if the frame rate looks bad, whatever, if you guys are watching, just because um, I want to make sure that the stream looks decent, but it may or may not. Uh, I'm still trying to figure out OBS on Linux. So... Okay, so I made two wood stacks with the hammer. Uh, typically, when you start this game, the first thing you want to do is craft an axe, and then because it can double both as a weapon and obviously to chop down trees, 
and then you want to create a hammer. And what the hammer will do is it will allow you to create a crafting bench, which is like the first thing that you need to be able to start building in the world. So the tricky thing with a crafting bench is that it needs to be sheltered. It needs to be under cover for it to work fully. Um, so like I, there's limited stuff that you can do with it on, with without being sheltered. And so typically what I'll do here is I'll build four walls, and then I like to build two of these 45 degree thatch roof corners, like that, like this. Snap. Sometimes the snapping can. Get So that's where this, oh, there it is. Okay, perfect. Now I'll put the hammer away and let's see if this works. Okay, good. So this is my crafting bench. So I'm able to repair my items for free, which is really good. Uh, it doesn't use any resources. And that's one of the main things that you want to do with the crafting bench, but it also gives you the ability to craft tools, right? Craft building stuff and also upgrade things. So we'll do a little more on that in just a but I've got this. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to start leveling out the ground here because I, I want it as flat as I can get. So, And the way leveling works, you build a hoe and it will level the ground based on the area that you're standing on. Okay, so because I'm standing at this certain elevation, all the leveling I do will level it to this elevation. For the most part. It's not perfect. But. Pretty good. So. And it uses stamina. So you'll see occasionally my stamina bar will go down. Um, but so far. I think this is fine. I'm just trying to... I'm going to go pick up that wood. That's bugging me. Um, just trying to level out a li enough space here that I can start to construct more structures. With the goal being to get enough material to build a good starter house here. All right. So for I'm just going to start with that for now. Um, and then I'm going to chop down this tree um, because you need tons of wood in this. So I have a flint axe, which allows me to chop down like beech trees. Those are the main ones that you find in the starting area in the meadow. Fell in the water. Lovely. Um... But there are also birch trees in the meadow, which give you fine wood. But apparently, uh, you need a bronze axe to get fine wood. And so, you need to mine bronze from the ground, which is a pickaxe. So they have a good balance here of, of need, having you need to progress through the game. I'm picking up flint right now, by the way. Um... To progress through the game and beat the bosses so that you can get the required materials to go from the Stone Age to the Bronze Age. You beat the second boss, it gives you the, uh, the materials to progress to the Iron Age and so on. So, pretty good. All right, let's grab this wood. Now I'm in the water where I don't really want to be. Water makes you wet. But... Chopping down trees. Now, this one over here looks like an oak tree. And... Yeah, I won't be able to chop this. Watch. I'll say too hard. So, because that's such a big tree and a harder wood, I guess, than beech, it... It, um... It... What? Let me... It won't let me 
craft. Uh, sorry, it won't let me chop it down. Okay. I'm going to chop down these little ones here. So, if anybody ends up watching this, if you're playing Valheim, let me know. Uh, let me know if you're enjoying it, if you're not enjoying it, what you think about it. Um, if we're not already Steam friends, we should be. So that we can possibly play together. The drop-off on these arrows is insane, so you got to be really good at aim, otherwise you will frustrate. See the beehive anyway. Stop this. One of the things you can do with these structures, if you put a crafting bench nearby, you can um, deconstruct them instead of knock them down with a Try get this. There we go. So now I picked up deer hide and um some meat. Good. So it's, you can see it's starting to go towards nighttime now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually build a little sleeping structure so that I can rest through the night, because the night can be a little dangerous. I'll go to my hammer, um, and I'm just going to build... Yeah, it's the same amount. All right, I'm just going to use these little... This one, little half wall, that one there. You use the 45-degree roof, thatch roof. Actually, yeah, that's a little sheltered. Okay, and typically what I can do is put a bed right under here. Now, a bed requires it to be um, sort of un under cover. Bed is too exposed. Okay, so that's what I was worried about. So let's see. There, see if that works. Still too exposed. Huh? Okay. So then. We're going to try, and this is one of the little dances, because I'm trying to use as little resources as possible right now. Um, and part of what that means is figuring out the best placement, because there are ways of making work. Still too exposed. Okay. So then in that case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put on some side, I'm going to put on a sidewall here, like... Take this out and put in a corner roof here. Like that. Now, let's see. Still too exposed. Bummer. All right. Sometimes it's best to use regular walls, but... So... Ah. The thing is that the bed is not, but so I'm going to still try to figure this. That'll work. I am going to construct this whole structure. And when you deconstruct using um, tools like this, you get to uh, you get all your material back, which is great. Torch there and a torch there, and I'm going to put down a campfire. Where is it? Oh, I don't have the stone. Stone. I don't have. I have to run around picking it up. Uh, you need a campfire to be able to sleep, otherwise. So usually you just run around and find stone on the ground. Now, oops, um, sometimes to level the ground you can find it. Otherwise, you go around and you kind of just search around on the ground. 
There's usually rocks. Sometimes you can find flint. House is so slow right now. Sensitivity was set down really low. Find any stone. There's some. Or no, oh, that's flint. That's flint, but I don't. Flints are important, though, because flints are used in a lot of different things, um, including the axe, the flint axe, which you really need. There's some stone. Um, because the stone axe is just not as good. Flint axe, when you upgrade it, can actually work pretty well for cutting down most trees. There's some more stone right there. If we got enough. Yep. Fantastic. Build this campfire. Now that'll allow me to have some shelter. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to put in connect these walls to here. Build. Little shelter. Now let's try another bed. Furniture. Go and let's see. Oh, it's still too exposed. This is the worst. All right. Might as well just I need or oh that's wrapped in there we go paint and oh Fine. so what I'll do This here, there, hopefully. Yeah, there we go. So now I'm able to claim the bed and sleep in it and you really want to sleep through the night but th to do that you need the bed you need it sheltered and you need a campfire nearby to stay warm so that's that all right so i'm gonna we're gonna stream here for a little bit longer and uh we're going to collect some more wood and then probably explore a little bit more uh, but the goal here, again, is really it's resource allocation and collecting resources, exploring. Get them? Oh, yes, I did. Oh, excellent. The railing will probably scare off the deer. All right, so now I'm sneaking. So if you don't have a bow... Ah, must have smelled me or heard me. Had a chance. All right, I'm going to go look in this building. Again, sometimes with buildings. Oh, weird. Graphical glitch there. Yeah. Okay, so that staggered him right there. So you can see when he reeled back like that, then that gives you a chance to push forward and uh, back him. And usually you can, at least with the flint axe, you can get him on one hit, you can get him on two. So see how there's a chest in here? So that means I got some resources. Great. Okay. Perfect. So these houses, too, are decent for... Um, 
a starting residence. Like if you didn't want to deal with what I was dealing with with the bed and the can and uh, uh, crafting bench, sometimes you just find these, plunk down a crafting bench, then repair the existing structure. Add any roofing that you need. You can put a campfire either in it or you can put a campfire outside. Whatever you want to do. Um, but just so you have one. And then you've got yourself a nice little starter home that you can work with. Use less reach. Now watch out because the trees, like I said, can fall on you. If they fall on you, you're dead. They'll roll too. So some of the, yep, there it goes. Some of the physics are realistic and some are not. But it's still fun. Honestly, guys, like, I've never had this much fun cutting down trees. Like, in Minecraft, trees are boring. It, they're just boring. It seems like in this game, for whatever reason, there's there's higher stakes. And so I feel like... Oh, that was close. I feel like the crafting of trees, or the cutting down of trees and the crafting is so important because if you don't have a shelter and you're left out at night, you know, that's when the monsters come out more in force. So that, And it's harder to see them, of course. Or... There you go. So pretty much... Early on, I tend to um, kill any boars that I can find. You can tame them, and you probably should, but it requires a little bit more skill and effort. And frankly, if you're playing solo, it can be a little harder. It's easier if you have a squad with you so that they can help you uh, fight them and use hens and stuff to... Get them working. Got them running away. So yeah, we're just chopping down trees now because I need a lot of wood for the starter house that I want to build. Okay. And we're going to need to pick up stone. I'm, just, I'm trying to pick up as much stone as I can find as well. Um, because you can use stone, among other things, to level the ground. Uh, to raise the ground, I should say. So there are certain times when... You try to level things and it's just not where you need it to be. And so you can level up the ground uh, or raise it up with stone, but number of stones. So right now I'm just collecting resources with the hope that I'll be able to Yikes. be able to um yeah, see it got stuck up in that tree. Create a nice log pile. Maybe a stone pile if I get enough. Oops, so my axe broke. Now, the nice thing about this game is your axe doesn't permanently break. You just run back to your crafting table. And you craft it. See how I took damage there? It's because the log landed, probably landed on my foot or something. So you don't have to craft new materials each time it breaks. You just tear it. It's awesome. But I uh, I didn't want to stop to do that, so I have a stone axe that I crafted first, and I, I just kept that. This occasion. So I like to clear some things here. Um, also, by clearing the forest like this, yeah, you're cutting down the trees. Um, you're going to make the graylings mad, and, you know, conservationists aren't going to like you, but... You can plant trees, which is nice, later on. Um, and it gives you a clearer line of sight, as well as, um, let me drop some under. Uh, gives you a clearer line of sight and more ability to move around, which is important, right? Because that, oh, here, grab those. With that, you, Especially if you're being attacked by enemies, multiple enemies at that, it can be really good to have that line of sight. So, that. Okay. You can also see you have a weight limit, right? 
is kind of a nice tool if you think about it. Um, kind of adds a little more realism to the for a tower shield. Six leather scraps. Okay. I like the tower shield. It doesn't let you parry, but the block on it is nice. And you pair that with a spear and you've got something going. Okay. Okay, so I'm going to come over here. Build another wood pile. And so, like I said, I'm just stockpiling wood right now, right? Stockpiling it because the house that I build needs quite a bit of wood. That's all I can do there. What do I got for stones? I only have seven stones. So now I'm going to build chest. Oh, but of course, what did I do? I ran out of wood. I'm not going to chop down my wood pile right here, although I can. Um, instead, I'm just going to come over here and harvest some. I'm going to build a chest so that I can store the things that I don't need. So that I'm carrying less weight and I'm not taking up much inventory. Because one of the things un that's unfortunate about this game is that the inventory is very small. But I guess the devs and they're going to work on that in a Chest right there, next to my bed. Then that in there. I'll put start putting all this material in there. Very wet. All right, and then I think. Then what I'm gonna do? Uh, I'm gonna need some more wood craft a spit to cook some of the meat I have. I'm going to run up here. Food is what gives you stamina. And stamina is so important because it's what lets you run. It, you know, when you're chopping down trees, right, it gauges how many you can chop down before you have to take a break. It's what is used for tilling the ground. I mean, everything. And combat, you can't swing your weapon if you don't have any stamina. So, the more you eat, the more stamina you get. And the more rested you are, the more stamina. So, all... Collecting wood here. Also, keep an eye out when you're, when you're out for uh, berry bushes. Raspberries in the meadow. Um, whoops. As well as mushrooms, because uh, those are food sources that you can pick up for free. There we go. These rune stones are fun. A little bit of lore. I'm not going to bother reading it right now because you can always go back if you go to your hit tab you can go here and you can read the different things here but like i said my goal for today is just to collect wood stone leather i can get so that i can craft a nice starter house chimney and a campfire and a couple of beds then go find the black forest maybe hunt some trolls get some troll hide armor and go fight the first boss Exeer. not gonna be able to do all of that today Ooh, see so that took down that's nice that took down that oak now i can't chop this up right now but i don't have to chop it down later which and in theory, if I chop down trees and they fall on it, that could break it down. So over time, so that's try to get him. Got to aim a little bit above your target. Oh, does have drop off here. The other thing to remember is that deer do not give you leather. They give you deer hides, and they're used for different things. So, 
boars are what give you leather, and right now I believe those are the only creatures, at least in the meadows, that give you leather. So if you have to prioritize between deer and boar, uh, early game I would definitely go for deer. Nope. I, I said that wrong. I would go for boar, because they give you the leather, which means you can craft leather armor, you can use craft shields, do all kinds of stuff. I like clearing down the little trees, because often it's one or two hits. You get not a lot of wood from them, but you get enough, and it clears the area, which makes it easy. You can also chop down stumps, which can be helpful, especially late... Oh, that's the wrong one. It was saying too hard. Um... I forgot that that was the oak stump. But you can eventually chop those. Oh. Gonna get this wood. All right. Perfect. So right now I have 75 wood. I'm gonna try to get 25 more so that I can have another two stacks. I like to have anywhere from 250 to 500 wood before I start building my house. Oh, so my axe just broke again, so I'll switch to this one. And again, I could just run back to the crafting bench, repair it if I wanted to. And I will. But first... Oh! Oh, God. Don't, don't roll on me. Oh, yeah, I hit my weight limit. Okay. All right, so I cut those down. We're going to go back now, deposit this. Probably going to make another chest. Oh, see how this wood pile is sticking up above the rest? So that's a little awkward. So I'm going to break that down. That won't actually let me pick it up right now. Oh. Uh. Oh. Well, alright. This is what I'm going to do. Right here. Okay. That one up. Up. Back. Here. Here. Alright, there we go. Now, go back over to the crafting bench. E and repair. Okay. I'm gonna need to build another chest here. But I think what I'm gonna do is I'm going to do a nice little trick here. Use a one by one floor tile on the wall here. Like that that, and then I can stack a chest. Should have done was put them like this, but I didn't want it to stick out too much. There we go. Alright, so I'm gonna, wait, actually, should all these. Uh, a total of seven deer hides, which is, we got these deer trophies, which is important, because those are what you need to summon Ekthir. These beech tree beech seeds you can use to grow beech trees later on. Alright, so now I need to build build the cooking stations so that I can eat on there and roast some. Now, ultimately, this is not a good solution for a campfire because it's exposed. So if it were to start raining, fire will go out. So typically what you'll do is you'll build a fire inside and create a, a chimney-like structure so that you can... contain that and so that it won't go out. Uh, but if I do another video on this, I will show that. So I'm just cooking the meat. You can see here, you can wait, you'll hear it sizzle when it's done. 
you kind of see it change a little bit, right? And so you want to get those. You don't have too long. Oh, see, those turned into coal. So you see how that... So I, I waited too long. Those turned into coal. But now that lets me do things like add a sign. Coal to write. And you can also use coal later um, in a smelting furnace. I wait on these. All right there we go. Now Necktail is a you know from a creature that you find later, and now I have eight of those, so that's good. All right. Well, I think this is where I'm going to end the video today. I've collected a bunch of wood, which I'm happy about. Let's see, 50, 100, 200, 300 wood so far, because these are stacks of 50. Um, and that's a good start. And what I'll end up doing is taking down my bed structure. I'm going to make probably um, hoe out some more land here, make a nice big platform so I can build a nice big house. Uh, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, do the YouTube thing, subscribe, give it a thumbs up, um, all that. Leave some comments. Let me know if you're playing Valheim because I really want to have some more people to play with. And I think that this game is tremendously fun. So with that, I will bid you all a great day. Stay safe. And I'll see you later.